this goes away, then you can go. Murray McMurray's best chicken coop controller. Murray McMurray's best chicken coop controller is more than just a door opener. It does open the coop door a few minutes before sunrise and close the door a few minutes after sunset. With the use of an electronic light sensor, you don't have to worry about it. The door can also be operated manually with the use of a three position toggle switch, night, day, and automatic modes. This controller is also equipped with a temperature sensor that will not allow the door to open until outside temperatures are above 25 degrees Fahrenheit. This feature protects your birds from freezing temperatures and also keeps your coop warmer. If the outdoor temperatures rise above 25 degrees Fahrenheit at any time during the day, the door will automatically open. It will remain open until a few minutes after sunset. Right now we're installing the rails that the door will slide up and down on. With this level I am able to draw a leveled straight line so we can line up our string that's going to pull the door up and down. On the level line, I'm going to mount the controller box on that line. The controller box sits about three inches above the rails. Next, we're going to configure the door controller. The instructions tell us to put it on night mode and keep pressure on the string as it lowers down. You want to make sure it lowers down all the way. And then unplug the power. I am inserting a spacer at the bottom of the door lifting it up about a half an inch so when I tie my knot and then remove the spacer there will always be tension on the string I just removed the spacer right here I'm adjusting the stopper it tells the controller box that the door has reached its limit. You want to set it about 13 inches between the stopper and you'll see in the controller a knot inside and that's where you would measure from to the stopper. The knot that you see inside of the controller box is the other stopper. It tells the controller box that the door is low enough. Now it's time to test the door to see if it opens and closes. I'm just plugging in the power cord. I'm going to switch it to the day mode. And the door should lift. I'm just going to switch it back to the night mode to see if it lowers back down like it should. There you have it. Now we're going to mount the light sensor. But first, we've got to remove the connection from inside the controller so that we can push it through the outside of the wall and then reconnect it to your control box. I'm going to need to drill a 5 8 hole to push the wire through. The hole's got to be big enough because you got to push the connector through that connects to the control box. I'm on the outside of the coop pushing the connector through. I'm plugging in the connector.
just like that. Now I'm just screwing on the cover that goes over the control box. I'm on the outside of the coop now, going to mount the light sensor onto the coop. It should be mounted on the west side of the building in full sun for the best reading. There you go. You may be aware that chickens lay more eggs if they have received 16 hours of light a day. We have built into our McMurray Best Chicken Coop controller a light timer that turns on an LED light panel eight hours after sunset. In this way, the chickens will receive their supplemental light just before sunrise and the door opening. This early morning artificial light will stimulate the hens and help them to lay their eggs prior to the door opening. On the light panel, there is an off and on switch if you choose to enable or disable the light. Looks like it's working. You can test the door by putting your hand over the light sensor to see if it'll open or close. Visit Murray McMurray for this great product.